of Mary and how in the three copies that have been recovered, six pages in the beginning and four in the mid middle have been ripped out. What was so incendiary that the gospel starts on page seven? In chapter six, verse three of Mary, she says, I shall teach you what is hidden within you. So the conjecture is, is that those pages would have revealed that we can perceive divinity directly from within. That we ha can have a kind of an, a way of seeing a vision, not the actual eyesight, of perceiving what is lasting, what is true, what is real. And that this comes from within, even as it isn't us. So what is right action? It's not following the laws and the rules. That's a given. We, tr we trust and we, um, we respect the way society is laid out. Right action is a kind of ethical poise that comes from a deeper place inside you. And it requires an incomplete response of all of you to a confluence of influences on the outside of you. Mary teaches, sin is not a list of moral and religious laws. Sin is simply forgetting the truth and the reality of the soul and then living from that forgetfulness. If you look around you, even before this COVID-19, the way we relate to ourselves, our bodies, each other, the imaginal, the phenomenal world has become infected and is poverty stricken. We've forgotten to pause and to gasp as we get taken in by a beautiful sunset. We've forgotten to be moved to tears by the haunting strain of a violin or the hoot of a barn, barn owl. And how few of us notice that tiny little flower pushing through the concrete on the pavement and stop to say, how beautiful, how resilient are you? And then to feel her response through the quickening of our hearts. In our fast and anaesthetized lives, we dull this capacity to perceive this life force that runs through all things. Without this universal language and connection, it is easy to divide and oppose, to treat something alien as something we should fear and to control it. So how do we honor the incredible and imaginative strides of our society whilst not forgetting this magical and simple way of connecting and perceiving a truly phenomenal world? Christ answers Mary's question that a person does not with, see with the soul or the spirit. Rather, the mind which exists between the two perceives the vision. This mind is not a mind of the void of body and breath. That's why we use the word, the Greek word, nuth, which refers to the eye of the heart. A vision that is the perception of the soul. And how we see anything changes everything. In archetypal psychology, we have a maxim that you should doctor the story, not the patient. The way we tell our stories is how we live into our lives. And then we start interpreting reality to this fiction and it divides and it removes us from our presence. So we don't really experience the full depth and breadth of what is available. The point of Mary's gospel is not to become better people, different people, or even to become an um vibrating aspect of yourself. Because actually we're really okay in all of our crooked and twisted ways. We really are okay. But what it does offer us is another perception, a way of seeing that something that has always been there. And what it actually is asking us about, what it's really waking us up to is that our system of understanding the world is no longer serving us.